Hey guys, welcome to the Clo Adventure channel. My name is Craig. Today we're going to be doing a firmware upgrade of the DNT scope. A lot of you guys have talked to me about, you know, how do you do this? How do you do that? And a few of the guys has asked, how do you do the upgrade to it? And there are a couple of good things with the upgrade. Um, it got rid of Bluetooth, letting you know that right off the bat. So if you're reading the manual, and it says connect to the ballistics calculator using Bluetooth, you'll notice that it doesn't work. You have to use Wi-Fi. That is part of the new upgrade. You probably have the new upgrade. We will show you uh, where on the scope to tell what version you have, and from there, we'll go and do the upgrade. Stand by. Well, here we are. Uh, we've got the scope here. It's powered up, you can see the blue dot. And first thing we wanna do is hit the center button here, the one with the gear, and you'll see the, you'll see the menu appear. There's the menu. And what we wanna do is we wanna go down to see what version we have. So by hitting this down arrow button, we go to this gear, hit the left button over, a whole bunch of choices pop up. We hit the, oh, we passed it up. Go to version, hit the right button, and you'll see that we now have the uh, 202408 one nine version one. That's the firmware we have on here, and we're going to want to put the uh, twelve dash or twelve fourteen on here. So that's what we that's what we have here on the scope. And what you need to do now is take a USB cable and plug it in the side here. Plug it in the side. And this end will end up going into your computer. So let's jump over to the computer and see what we got. Here we are at the uh, DNT Optics website. This is where you'll need to be to get the new firmware. So uh, we're going to jump down here and just we got to make sure that this is working first. We're going to jump down here to File Explorer. And you're going to see this pop up. And over here, jump to... A little fast my computer and when you plug the scope in you should get this to pop up and you'll now see your DNT scope these are when you open it up and go to the record files you should see a whole bunch of uh, your files that you've recorded so let's jump back up to the top and this is where we want to be so let's just put these away for the time being. So when you're at the DNT site, jump over to here to the support tab, jump down to download center, move to firmware downward download, and you'll see this will appear. This is the upload center for the new scope. Um, when we were there, I showed you that I had this version on my scope, and we're now going to download well, uh, that's the old version. It won't let me highlight that. But uh, we're going to download that. So we're going to save that file. And what this is giving you is it's got some new therm lock features. Um, the Wi-Fi is a little bit better. It has an MO, a new MOA radical. And now the radic they have a radical color that uh, is white. So there are a few... Uh, good things that it has. Uh, it's fixed some other bugs in there, but these are the main features you'll see. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to let this go. It's got another about two minutes left, and let me come back after two minutes. Hey guys, well you made it this far in the video and I hope you liked it. If uh, there's anything you'd like me to change or you have a question about, please feel free to leave me a comment in the bottom. When we come here, we can close this now. And if we reopen our uh, file explorer, we'll come over here and we'll see that we have, uh, well, first of all, hang on a second, we gotta go to our downloads. And here's the Therm Knight here, and it's in a, you have to extract it. So click on the folder name and hit extract. 
Now, it gets a little confusing, so I'm actually going to change this so that it doesn't get too confusing. So let's delete all this out of here and just type DNT firmware and when we hit that it will extract the file and open the open the folder now if you scroll down a little bit here you'll see DNT and so what we want to do is we want to open this we want to grab this file so we want to copy and then we want to go over to the DNT. This is our scope. This is it here. Here's all our pictures. And all we want to do is right click and paste. Now this is copying that file, the, the new firmware download that we just copied, that we just downloaded and unzipped. We're putting it to the root directory of the draw of the scope. there it is done here's the disk image right there so let's jump back over to the scope and watch the scope okay we're here back at the scope you can now at this point in time unplug your USB cable and power off the device so hold the button and you'll see the blue light disappear it should be counting down And there it is. Oop. I held it too long. And I held it too long and it actually turned off and turned on. You see it blinking? It's, that is, it is updating the firmware on it. So we'll just wait for that to do it. Do not turn it off at this point. Leave it run. And there it is. It's rebooting. Okay, so now that the, the uh, unit is powered back up, let's hit the uh, setup key. There's our setup, and we need to jump over. We go up if you want. Uh, there it is there. Right click to there. Where are we at? There, you drop down to version. And there you can see we now have uh, version 024.12.11. Uh, so we now, we now have the new versions. Uh, so now you can exit out. And that's all it is to upgrading the firmware. So this, this is what you want to do to keep your device running smooth, to get any of the little bugs that even though you might not have seen, DNT has found them and fixed them. They've added a couple new features. Um, if you'd like to see the new features, like the new... Uh, radical and that kind of stuff drop me a comment be happy to do another video on you hey guys well you made it this far in the video and I hope you liked it if uh, there's anything you'd like me to change or you have a question about please feel free to leave me a comment in the bottom uh, hoping you guys can help me and help support the channel it's free to you it'll take literally 15 seconds of your time and that is hit that like button and alongside that hit that notification bell that uh, Will really help the biggest thing to help is to hit that subscribe button. This is the biggest thing of all uh, I'm doing my best to try to grow the channel to give you guys videos you like so if you could Hit that subscribe hit the like leave a comment hit the notification bell. It's all free. It's real easy and it helps me out tremendously. Appreciate you watching. See you on the next one.